I'm Ann Trujillo with your Denver 7 update. Nothing like a snowstorm to take your mind off coronavirus. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson is with us tonight. And Mike, no one's happy about coronavirus, but it's certainly a relief that so few people are out on the roads tonight. And that certainly is a rain gauge half full way to look at it, Ann. We had 19 inches of snow at Nederland, 15 at Conifer, around a foot monument in Evergreen, about six inches out at the airport, about five at our studios. That's the cause of the storm, a low that's now rapidly moving away from us, but in advance of it in the warm air, it's tornadoes that are the concern in Iowa across the central Mississippi Valley. Tonight, as that low moves away, the colder air comes in, the snow diminishes, but does not completely go away. Light snow by morning, windy and cold, very poor travel conditions on the Northeast Plains. Watch out with these, the lows dropping into the teens. A lot of those wet roads are going to become icy and snow covered overnight tonight. We'll start cold and windy with snow showers on Friday. Midday, the snow showers continue, and by late in the day, still some lingering snow showers. And just a chilly day with the temperatures 20s and 30s in the mountains, 30s in the Denver Metro metro some 40 southeast and out west but basically a cold day good news we start to moderate quickly saturday's back to the upper 40s 55 sunday maybe some showers monday and 58 very nice tuesday and wednesday and then rain and cooler by next thursday all right, Mike, thank you. A person in Crowley County in Southern Colorado is now the fourth person to die from coronavirus in our state. We're told the patient was elderly and had chronic health conditions. El Paso County also announcing another death there today. That man was in his mid 60s and had direct contact with a woman who also died from it. 277 cases have been reported across our state tonight. 38 patients are in the hospital and the unemployment numbers are heartbreaking. 10,000 claims are being filed on a daily basis. Contact 7 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski tonight talking relief and when we can expect it. Uh, this has been a hard time for small businesses in Denver and their employees. With most of the state closed for business, thousands of Coloradans are starting to feel real economic impacts from coronavirus. And we are acutely aware and that it's going to be a long road to recovery. Denver Mayor Michael Hancock unveiled a $4 million economic relief package one that will give small businesses grants for up to $7,500. The city is also waiving parking meter fees and late penalties on business taxes for March and April. Right now we're seeing it grow every day. Cher Haven with the State Labor Department says they are seeing a record number of claims. On Wednesday alone, 10,000 people flooded the state's unemployment system. And the situation is changing by the hour. Our challenge right now is and clearing up some confusion and demystifying the system because quite frankly, it's confusing. At the front lines of this list is anyone who gets close to people. We're talking dentists, hairstylists, and servers. Those are the people now trying to file for unemployment, but how quick that relief will come remains unseen. In a normal economy, it takes four to six weeks. We know that will not work in, in the state of the economy now, so we are doing everything we can to expedite that. Meanwhile, Coronavirus has hit the state capitol. Very hard to breathe, um, but I I was breathing. You know, that's kind of the, the confusing part of it. Lawmaker Daphna michelson Janay says she tested positive for the virus. Um, I'm quarantined in my room, so my kids are my kids are downstairs. I FaceTimed into dinner last night. She is now urging everyone to take this seriously and practice social distancing. The only way we're going to stop this is if people stay home. And I, it's hard to stay home. Like, I get that. But this is a community public health crisis. That was Jennifer Kovaleski. Thank you for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone to get breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Andrew Heal.